Hey, we are Bryce and Elizabeth Harrison. We are church planting in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and we currently live in Greer, South Carolina with our two boys, Coleman and Gilbert. We are so excited to share with you a little bit of our story and how the Lord has given us a love for Atlantic Canada. We both grew up overseas and getting to see ministry firsthand. My dad was an army chaplain. Elizabeth's dad was a medical missionary. A big part of our college experience was learning to love the local church. We both began to understand how vital the church is to fulfilling the Great Commission, and we knew that whatever ministry looked like for us in the future, we wanted it to be closely connected to seeing local churches established and grow. In 2014, I connected with Trevor Hoffman and the church at Greer Station. They were getting ready to plant in Greer, and they were looking for young leaders that they could invest in and eventually send out to plant themselves. So I jumped right on board with them, and honestly, the past seven years have been some of the best that we could have asked for. The experiences that we've gained and the investment that our church body has made in us have really prepared us well as we get ready to transition into this next season of ministry. My name is Trevor Hoffman. I am the teaching pastor at the church at Greer Station. Pretty early on in our planting process, we got to meet Bryce and Elizabeth. It became very clear right off the bat that Bryce and Elizabeth were folks that the Lord had gifted and that the Lord had called in the ministry. It was a joy to walk with them and see how the Lord began to really crystallize a vision for Halifax in their heart and mind. And we're just thrilled that God has given us the opportunity to get to know them and uh, commission them this year to go plant in Halifax. During these past seven years, Bryce has been able to graduate with his Master's of Divinity from Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary. I've been able to serve with Transworld Radio. We've started our family and experienced the joys and challenges of raising two little boys. We've been able to lead and grow our community group. And we've also fallen in love with Halifax, Nova Scotia. We took our first division trip there in September of 2016. And since then, we've been building relationships and visiting as often as we can. So we first went up to Halifax, Nova Scotia with two main questions in mind. First, was there a significant need for more churches? And second, were there viable partnerships that we could tap into? And what we found is that the resounding answer to both of those questions was yes. Yes, there needs to be more churches. Halifax is a city of almost a half a million people. Not only that, but it's the second fastest growing area in all of Canada. They need more churches, but not just churches. They need churches that are committed to proclaiming the gospel, to expositional teaching, kingdom-minded churches that, that love their neighbors, that love the bride of Christ, and want to live out what it looks like for human hearts to be made new. So this summer, we are moving north. We're packing our bags and being sent to Halifax, Nova Scotia. But we are thankful that we're not just doing that alone, but that we are doing so tethered to Jesus and tethered to his church. We're thankful for churches like LifeBridge Church in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, who are ready to receive us with open arms when we arrive. We're thankful for the church at Greer Station, for the years that they have loved us and invested in us. We're thankful for the Pillar Network, for their commitment to, to planting, equipping, and revitalizing churches. And we're excited at the prospect of being the first Pillar Network church in all of Canada. I heartily commend uh, Bryce and Elizabeth and their family and the mission. Bryce has demonstrated himself uh, to be a faithful leader, a person who loves the Lord, a person who shares the gospel, a person who knows how to teach and preach God's word, a person who loves the local church and has healthy ecclesiology that he's going to take with him to a hard place. I believe uh, that Bryce is as well positioned uh, for this work as any young man that I've seen come through our system. And I can't wait to see uh, what God is going to do through he and his family uh, and their team to see a healthy, faithful church planted and established there in Halifax. It's been nearly five years since our first vision trip to Halifax, and the Lord has been faithful to grow and equip us since then. Back in the fall, we went to assessment with the North American Mission Board and are so excited to be fully approved and endorsed church planters with the SIN Network. The Lord has also provided two teammates, Hannah Squires and Rebecca Perkle. They will be moving to Halifax with us this summer and will be part of our church from the very beginning. As a team, we'll plug in with LifeBridge Church in Dartmouth, 
work to build evangelistic relationships in our community, and prepare to begin gathering as a new church next summer. Right now we're working through the immigration process, and as soon as we receive our visas, we will be packing our bags and moving north. But we are also fundraising right now. The Lord has already provided a generous foundation of supporters who believe that the Lord is working in Atlantic Canada and have wanted to invest in that work. But we need more. We need more partners who share the vision for Jesus being made known in Halifax. And so we want to invite you to, to join our team to give towards that work. We are so thankful that the gospel opens our hands, opens our homes, our wallets, our dinner tables, and our passports. And we want to invite you to join that work. And we are thankful for the role that you will continue to play in our ministry. We want to say along with the Apostle Paul, I give thanks to my God for every remembrance of you, always praying with joy for all of you in my every prayer because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. We are praying that the Lord is making hearts new in your church, in your city, and in your community. And we ask that you would pray the same for Halifax. Thanks for watching.